the crew, an ACC crew on hand for Charleston. Want to welcome those watching on the Charleston Sports Network. Again, the starting lineups. DeJure Bowie, Justin Wright Foreman, Eli Pemberton, Tariq Coburn, and Jaquiel Taylor will get the start. For Charleston, Marquise Pointer, Grant Riller, Brevin Galloway, Jerry, Jarrell Brantley, and Nick Harris. Cougars will open up going right to left. They're getting their final instructions from Earl Grant, the head coach of Charleston, Joe Mahalik, leading the way for the pride. Cougars break the huddle. So it'll be Taylor and Brantley in the jump circle. Fans slowly but surely start to file into TD Arena. You can, you can just feel the excitement in this one, Evan. You can tell this is two of the top teams in the conference about to go at it. Jamie Lucky, the referee, will tip it and throw it in the air. The tip is won by Hofstra as Bowie has it in the front court. Charleston starts in a man-to-man. -man. Bowie gets a screen from Taylor. They'll throw it back. Three-pointer from the right corner is no good by Colburn, and the rebound grabbed by Galloway. So Charleston will touch it for the first time this evening as Riller has it top of the key. It's like a matchup zone being played by Hofstra. Pointer at the top of it, hand it off to Riller. And a turnover is a bad pass and then a silly foul by Brevin Galloway as Grant Riller tried to throw a behind the back pass. Not the start that obviously Charleston wanted. Daniels took a keys to the wins. For Hofstra, they got to drive the basketball. Big game from their role players. You know what you're going to get from Justin Wright Foreman. And from Charleston, they got to make Justin Wright Foreman work on defense and also contain Hofstra's role players. So it could come down to role players tonight. And I think one thing you want to add on that is don't fall in love with the jump shot in that zone. Charleston has a tendency to want to shoot the threes, but drive the gaps and get into get to the rim. Just underway here at TD Arena. As Bowie has it between the circles, middle of the floor. Bounce pass over to Taylor. Over to right Foreman. Lost it, got it back. He'll drop to the rim. Shot up with the left hand. It's no good. Rebound grabbed by Brantley. Brantley will bring it into the front court himself. Brantley still has it. Top of the key. Drives into the paint. Jumper from the free throw line is no good. Rebound grabbed by Taylor. We'll hand it off to Justin Wright Foreman. The left hander will bring it into the front court. Dribble to the top of the key, middle of the floor. He'll throw it over to Coburn. Now travel. Yep, a good call as Bill Covington Jr. right on top of that one. The turnover by Tariq Coburn, the 6'5 Jr. from the Queens. And you can feel the nerves from both teams in this game to start the game. You know, both of them want to jump out early. I'm sure coaches talk to both of them. Hey, we want to get a good start. So they're getting a little antsy right now at the beginning of the game. A little pressure by Hofstra. Charleston able to break it with ease. Pointer, top of the key. They'll get it to Brantley, middle of the zone. Step back jumper from the left wing. Off the glass, no good. Rebound grab by Hofstra. So both teams ice cold thus far. Is no score. 18.30 left on the clock. Pemberton, his shot is off to the left. Rebound grab by Galloway. So still scoreless here. TD Arena, Galloway, three-pointer, top of the key. No good off the rim. Rebound grabbed by Taylor, so we remain scoreless. Pitcher's duel here at TD Arena with 18-10 left to play. No score. As Bowie hands it off to Pemberton. Pemberton back over to Bowie along the right side line over to Pemberton. Layup is good. Pass and cut. Easy layup at the rim, and Hofstra strikes first with 18 minutes left to play in the first half. Pride lead two to nothing. Charleston still looking for their first points of the game. Pointer over to Galloway. Pass nearly stolen by Bowie. Pointer again has it back over to Galloway. Galloway back to Pointer. Over to Brantley with 10 seconds left on the shot clock. Riller lost it. Ball loose on the floor and stolen by Hofstra. The steal will go to Coburn. Pemberton has it. That's a charge. Yep, good call as Marquise Pointer able to step in front of Eli Pemberton. Good call again by Bill Covington Jr. The turnover will give it back to Charleston. Charleston 0 for 3 from the field. Hofstra 1 of 4. Hofstra leads 2 to nothing with 17.25 left to play. First half. Riller has it top of the key. He'll dribble left around the screen from Harris. He'll throw it back to Harris. Harris at the top of the key will throw it to 
Riller. Riller waits for the screen, not there. The fire to Harris. Harris takes one dribble, picks it up, he'll throw it over to Galloway. Eight seconds to shoot. Pointer, pull up three pointer, top of the key. No good off the back iron. Harris had the rebound, lost it, go ahead to Brantley. Brantley over to Harris. Harris under the basket, shot up, it's no good, it's blocked. He saves it from going out of bounds. Back over to Brantley. Brantley misses another layup. Gets his own offensive rebound. Shot up. It's good, and he's fouled. Finally, the lid has been lifted off of the basket, and Brantley scores first, and he'll have an opportunity for a three-point play. It seems like everybody in the arena was ready for that first one to go through. They had a lot of good looks at it. Couldn't get one to go. But if you're going to get one, why not be the AM one by JB? So Brantley will... Head to the free throw line. Free throw up, and it's good. So Charleston leads 3-2. to two. It's 16-50. Two left to play in the first half. As Bowie will bring it in the front court along the left side line, right in front of that Charleston bench. Over to Taylor. Taylor, top of the key. Goes back door to Justin Wright Foreman. The left-hander shot up off the glass, and it's good. Justin Wright Foreman with the backdoor cut. The easy two puts Hoster back on top, four to three, with 16.30 left to play first half. Galloway over to Pointer, they'll get it to Brantley, over to Riller, great ball movement by Charleston. Pointer swings it over to Galloway, he'll fire a three, and it's no good, left it short. Rebound grab by right Foreman, he'll throw it ahead, and a pass stolen by Pointer. Great anticipation by Marquise. Marquise drives, shot up off the glass, it's no good, but an offensive foul as Justin Wright Foreman takes the charge as he stepped front of Marquise Porter. Both teams have had one charge called against them. And that will give it back to Hostra. That's the second turnover of the night for Charleston. Hofstra's turned it over three times as Sam Miller will check into the lineup for the Cougars uh, along with Zepp Jasper. They'll replace Brevin Galloway and Nick Harris. So Hofstra leads 4 to 3, 1605 left to play. First half, Bowie guarded by Jasper. Bowie gets the screen from Taylor, who dribbled top of the key underneath to Taylor. Taylor goes up, shot with the left hand. Layup is no good. A rebound grabbed by Brantley. Brantley over to Zep Jasper. Jasper in the front court. We'll slow it down between the circles. Looking over this tough matchup zone of Hofstra. Jasper over to Brantley deep in the right corner in front of the Hofstra bench. Jasper has it, top of the key, back over to Brantley. Brantley gets it to Riller, jumper from the right elbow. Good as it rattled in. And Grant Riller scores his first two of the evening and puts Charleston back on top, 5-4 to four with 15-25 left to play, first half. Right Foreman over to Colburn, I'll hand it off to Pemberton. Pemberton back to Colburn on the right wing, above the three-point line, guarded by Brantley. He'll dump it down to Pemberton and a foul by Galloway. That'll be a touch foul, but that'll be his second. And that will send him to Taylor and Pemberton. Each have two, and I'm missing something because Justin Wright Foreman scored, but they don't have him with any points. I wonder if, I don't think Jaquiel Taylor has scored yet. I think they gave no, Justin right. Wright's uh, points to Jaquiel Taylor, so we'll have to get that squared away on the store, score sheet. Back to action as Corborn has on the right baseline. They'll throw it out to Bowie. Who get the screen? Dan Dwyer, who checks into the lineup. Three pointer from the left right wing is good. The three pointer by Tariq Coburn. He puts Hofstra back on top, seven to five, with 14.50 left to play. As I mentioned, Dan Dwyer, the 6'8 senior out of River Forest, Illinois, in the game for Hofstra. Zep Jasper, deep left corner, will jump out of trouble and lob it up to Riller. Top of the key, working one on one now. Still has on the right wing. Skip pass over the top to Zip Jasper. He'll fire a three-pointer, and this one's no good off the iron. Rebound grab by Pemberton. Ahead to Bowie in the front court, picked up by Jasper. He'll pull up, he'll shoot a three, and it's good. So DeJur Bowie with the pull-up three from the right wing puts Hoster on top by five, 10 to five, with 14-15 left to play in the first half. Jasper over to Riller. Riller dribbles, top of the key, now in the paint. Pull-up jumper is good as he rattles it in from the free throw line. So Grant Riller now with five points. Check that four points. He cuts the Hostra lead down to three, 10 to seven with 14 minutes left to play. First half is Bowie, top of the key, over to Pemberton, fakes the three, drives into the paint. Skip pass over to Coburn, his three-pointer from the corner is good. And Tariq Coburn buries another three. 
Wilborn starting to heat up now as Hofstra, they've hit the last three field goal attempts and they lead 13 to seven with 13.35 left to play. Wilborn with six points. Riller in the paint, he'll throw the shot up off the glass. It's good and he's fouled. So Grant Riller with the drive and the kiss off the glass. He'll have an opportunity for a three-point play. Yeah, he's a guy they don't want him getting into the teeth of that zone. Once he gets a step on you, we always talk about it. His body control is like nobody else in college basketball. He can finish with the end one. So Riller, the junior guard from Florida at the free throw line, makes the bonus shot, and it cuts that lead down to three. Hostra on top, 13 to 10. 13-25 left to play here in the first half. Justin Wright Foreman dribbles right. Jumper from the right wing is no good. Rebound grabbed by Sam Miller. Outlet over to Riller. Riller will bring it into the front court himself. Riller drives to the basket, cut off. So he'll kick it over to Zep Jasper. Three-pointer from the right wing. Rattles it in, and it's good. Zep Jasper ties it at 13 with 13.03 left to play first half. It's Justin Wright Foreman has it. He'll throw it over to Bowie along the right sideline. Bowie, double team momentarily. He'll throw it over to Dwyer along the sideline. He'll throw it out to Justin Wright Foreman. Splits the double team, gets into the paint. Wraparound pass over to Coburn. Same spot, three-pointer, good again. Back-to-back -back threes from that same deep left corner right in front of the Charleston bench. Coburn now has nine points. And Hofstra back on top, 16-13 to with 12.33 left to play here in the first half. Jasper over to Jalen Richard, who's checked into the lineup for the Cougars. Riller has it in front of the Hofstra bench. Riller working against right Foreman. Back to Jasper. Ten seconds left on the shot clock. He'll dribble left. He'll throw it up to Sam Miller, top of the key. He'll swing it over to Grant Riller. Riller dumps it down to Brantley. Four seconds to shoot. Brantley, two. Does he recognize? Nope. A shot clock violation. And that turnover really should go to Grant Riller. He threw it to Jarrell in a bad situation. And the shot clock turnover will give it back to Hofstra. Yeah, that's the responsibility of the guard right now to, to know what's on the shot clock right there. Grant, knowing that there's only five seconds, has to take the ball to the basket or make a play. You don't want to give it to the big guy in that situation. More like it's going to be a shot clock violation. 12.05 left to play, and Hofstra on top, 16 to 13. It's Justin Wright Foreman has it in the front court. Middle of the floor between the circles near the timeline. And now start his drive towards the basket. Lob it up for Dwyer. Dwyer above the three-point line. Throw it out to Wright Foreman. Wright Foreman has a hesitation dribble. He'll drive. Short, shot up. Flo floater is no good. Richard grabs the rebound. He'll push it ahead to Jasper. Jasper's in the front court. Nothing there, so he'll slow it down. He'll throw it over to Richard. Richard looks to drive. He'll pass over to McManus. Over to Riller. Deep NBA three-pointer. No good. Too strong. Rebound grabbed by Dwyer. He'll hand it off to Wright Foreman with 11.25 left to play. First half, and Hoster on top, 16 to 13. Wright Foreman dribbles. He's in the paint. Kick it over to Coburn. Same spot again, three-pointer, and this one rims off. It's no good. Rebound grabbed by Riller. Coburn likes that corner three. He's three for five now from behind the arc. Riller has it in the front court. He's in the paint. Euro step, shot up with the right hand, and it's good. And we got a technical foul, a double foul. will go against Sam Miller and Jalen Reyes. They kind of got connected. I think both were trying to get away from each other. And a, probably a good call because they didn't know who instigated it. But both teams will be assessed, or both players will be uh, assessed. At so Bill, Bill Covington says technical both ways. So we're good to go. So Sam Miller now has a personal foul. And Ray has one as well. So back to action. Hofstra's basketball as Pemberton has it top of the key. He'll throw it over to Ray. Ray, ball above his head, now dribble right, now come reverse his dribble, top of the key, he'll throw it back to Pemberton. Three-pointer from the right wing is good. And Eli Pemberton connects on his first three of the night and puts Hofstra on top, 19 to 15. With 10.35 left to play as Jasper has it. Bounce pass over to Miller. Miller can shoot that three. They gotta at least make them think about it. Three-pointer from Jalen Richard. the bank shot is no good, the rebound grab by Taylor. Sam Miller is a very good uh, shooting big man. He's got to at least become a threat. And Hofstra has to at least guard him. Right, especially when they're running the zone up there at the top. Right Foreman dribbles right around the zone of the man-to-man. -the -man. Shot up at the rim. It's no good, but Taylor gets the offensive rebound. He'll throw it out to Pemberton. Pemberton in the paint. Charge. Nope, they'll call a blocking foul. And it will go against Jalen McManus. And so 
Eli Pemberton will go to the free throw line for his first two free throws of the night. And it looks like it must have been inside the restricted circle. If you can look at the replay, yeah, his left foot was on yeah. the restricted line. Like he had a heel on the restricted right. line, restricted so a good circle. call again. So Pemberton will be at the free throw line. Pemberton, first attempt is good. In the first contest, Pemberton scored 26 points. Also grabbed five rebounds and had three assists in the win against Charleston, 86 to 72. Pemberton on the season, averaging 15 points, four rebounds, and two assists. Junior guard out of Connecticut. Free throws up and in, and Hofstra stretches its lead now to six. 21-15 is the score. Hofstra with the lead. The Cougars with the basketball. Jasper has it in front of the Hofstra bench. Over to Pointer. Pointer drives. Shot up with the left hand off the glass, and it's good to the drive. In the midst of the zone, and the finish with the left hand by Marquise Pointer gives Charleston their 17th point of the evening. Hofstra still on top, however, 21-17, 9.40 left to play. Pemberton with the left hand pass, excuse me, right former with the pass over to Pemberton. Pemberton drives, he'll try to pass it to Taylor, but it goes off of Taylor's hands and out of bounds, and so it'll go back to Charleston. And that's what Charleston has to do. They have to have live hands on defense, try to get deflections, get Hofstra out of that comfort zone. Right now, they feel good about shooting threes and moving the ball. Charleston has to break up that, disrupt that offense. Jasper, Pointer, Brantley, Riller, and Miller on the floor for the Cougars. Bowie, Wright Foreman, Taylor, Pemberton on for Hofstra. The drive and the layup is no good by Riller. Rebound by Hofstra, Wright Foreman in the paint. The left hand finish is good. So the run out by Hofstra puts the pride back on top by six. 23-17. 8.55 left to play. Jasper working against the zone. He'll throw it over to Riller on the left wing. We'll get it to Brantley in the middle of that zone right above the free throw line. Jab step, jumper from the free throw line, hits the back iron, falls through. It's good, but a foul will go against Sam Miller. And he has to be careful or he's going to get a technical foul. He'll be out of the game. So the basket will count. So it'll be 23-19. However, Sam Miller will be whistled for the foul. So Sam Miller will take a seat. Nick Harris will check back into the lineup. And you talked about it, Danny. Playing with composure, it's a big game. You gotta play within your emotions. You can't allow your emotions to get away from you. Yeah, it's a long game. It's gonna be a lot of ups and downs. You just have to manage those emotions during the game because you're gonna have a lot of them. Posture with the basketball. Ray on the right baseline. And a whistle as the foul will go. It's a two-shot foul. Jerry Heater says it was committed by Grant Riller. So Charleston already has committed seven fouls here in the first half. Posture only been whistled for four. So Ray will go to the free throw line. The left-hander's first attempt is good. Ray had a phenomenal game back in Long Island. Had 14 points. He was 5 of 6 from the floor, including 4 of 5 from behind the three-point arc. As Justin Wright Foreman will take a seat, and Tariq Coburn will check back into the lineup. So Jalen Ray, the sophomore from Hampton, Virginia, makes both free throws. Austria still on top by 6. 25-19 is the score. 8.25 left. First half It's Jasper. Holds on to it. Look at the screen from Harris. Doesn't use it. Instead, he'll swing it over to Grant Riller. Riller gets the screen from Harris. Splits the double team. Jumper from the left elbow. No good. Too strong. The rebound grabbed by Hofstra. Right now, Charleston having to take a lot of tough shots. Yeah, they're settling for the perimeter shots around that zone. They have to get into the teeth of it, create some mismatches, and get to the rim. Bowie will throw it back to Pemberton. Three-pointer from the right wing. No good. Rebound grabbed by Jarrell Brantley. Over to Jasper along the right sideline. Now in the front court. In front of Joe Mihalik. Dribbles to the middle of the floor. Swing it over to Pointer. Pointer back to Jasper. Gets it to Brantley at the free throw line. He ripped through. Drives to the basket. Ball fake. Shot up off the glass. It's no good, but he's fouled by Taylor. And Brantley will go to the free throw line. Jasper with three. 
And Pointer with two. Hofstra shooting 47%, 8 of 17 from the floor. They're 5 of 8 from behind the arc, with most of the damage being done by Tariq Coburn, who's 3 for 5 from behind the arc. Charleston shooting 40%. They're 8 for 20, and Cougars just 1 of 7 from behind the three-point line. So Brantley's first free throw is good. Brantley awaits the second. And he makes both. 25-21 is the score. Hostra on top. The pride with the basketball as Bowie out to Pemberton. He'll hand it off to Justin Wright Foreman. Between the circles, middle of the floor, he'll dribble right. He'll throw it back over to Coburn. He'll swing it around to Pemberton. He'll drive the left baseline. Double team, cut off there. Out to Coburn. Back to Wright Foreman. He'll fire a three-pointer, and it's no good off the back iron. Rebound grab by Brantley. Brantley will bring in. Swing it over to Pointer. Pointer in the front court. Over to Jasper. Ball fake. Back to Pointer. Pointer top of the key. He'll slow it down. 7-10 left to play. Pointer directing traffic. Get it over to Riller. Right wing. Back over to Pointer. Gets it to Brantley just outside the right elbow. Brantley with 10 seconds on the shot clock. Underneath the Pointer. Shot up off the glass. No good. But Nick Harris there with the offensive rebound. The two-hand slam. Put back. Cuts the... Down the two, 25-23. The other way, Pemberton buries the three to quiet the crowd. Hofstra back on top, 28-23. That's how I guess you answer a two-hand slam by Charleston with the three-pointer. And they have to be conscious of that. Charleston has to get back on transition D. Hofstra's going to push the tempo, so they have to be ready. So the pride on top, 28-23 with 6.30 left to play. Brantley, left elbow, drives to the basket, shot up with the right hand, and it's good. Drove right around Dan Dwyer. Cuts that lead up for Hofstra back down to three. 28-25 is the score. Hofstra with the lead in the basketball. 6.15 left to play. Pemberton back in the smaller pointer down. Double team, he'll throw it over to Dwyer. Ball loose, he'll get it back. He'll throw it over to Coburn. He'll drive to the basket, kick it over to Bowie. Bowie drives, leave it off to Dwyer. Reverse layup is good. Great ball movement by Hofstra. Dwyer there to finish it with the reverse layup. Hofstra on top, 30 to 25, 5.55 left to play. First half, Cougars with the basketball. Riller back over to Jasper. Jasper, behind that defense, he'll swing it over to Riller. Riller lost the ball, ball loose on the floor, and they're gonna have a whistle. The foul will go against Coburn. They're gonna say he kicked Riller. Charleston got lucky there because it looked like that was gonna be a turnover. Yeah. They're kind of disgusting. You know how it gets iffy like that with some of the calls. Charleston got a break there, but they have to get a good possession. Again, Charleston good off the dead ball situation. See if they run something coming from the side. Well, maybe they called a jump ball somehow because they just reset it back to 20. So it's Cougar basketball. Brantley fires a three-pointer from the right wing, and it's too strong. It hits the back iron and hits the top of the backboard. And that will give it back to Hofstra with exactly 5.30 left to play. So Hofstra leads, 5.25, clock running left in the first half as Wright Foreman walks into the front court. Between the circles, looking over the defense. Left-hander will dribble left, and then a touch foul on Riller. That'll be Riller's second. You have to think, Danny, if you want to get your money's worth on those fouls, that was definitely just a, I mean, barely touched him. Yeah, and the, and the first one was similar to that. He got beat, kind of reached out and grabbed him around the hip area. He has to be careful because he's in the danger. You know, if he gets that third one, he's going to sit for a while coming in the second half. So right Foreman at the charity strike. Free throw is good. Yeah, Earl Grant taking a risk here with 5.17 left, leaving Riller on the floor. So right Foreman. Again, the nation's third leading scorer, averaging 26 points a game, makes both. He now has six points. Hofstra extends its lead to seven, 32-25, with 5-10 left to play in the first half as Pointer brings it into the front court. Up to Jasper, over to Riller. Back to Jasper, swings it over to Pointer. Pointer on the left wing, gets the screen from Harris. Dribbles to the free throw line. Jumper is no good. Rebound grabbed by Coburn. 
And give credit to Hofstra. They're only allowing Charleston one shot. Jumper from Bowie is no good. It rims out. Ball's loose. Finally grabbed by Nick Harris. Outlet over to Marquise Porter along the right sideline. Underneath to Brantley. Brantley at the rim. Shot up with the right hand. It's no good. He missed the easy layup. But Zip Jasper grabs the rebound. Over to Porter. He'll fire three. No good left is short, but he gets his own offensive rebound. Then he loses it. Then a foul as he tried to get it back from Pemberton. And the foul will go against Pointer, and Pemberton is down. Looks like he hit his defense again, take a higher percentage shot. So Pemberton, who had 26 points in the first contest, already has 10 on the night. He's at the free throw line looking for point 11 and 12 if he can connect on the first. One and one, and Pemberton connects. Ostra seven for seven thus far from the free throw line. So Pemberton awaits the second. And the free throw is no good. Rebound grab by Jalen Richard. 33-25. Hofstra leads with 425 left to play. As Jasper has it in the front court. Between the circles, top of the key. Over to Jalen Richard. Pass underneath to Brantley. He's double teamed. He splits the double team, but he's fouled before he could get to the paint. And the foul. The foul is going to go against Dwyer. It is indeed. So that'll be his second foul. And the sixth called against Hofstra. Will Covington, referee, making sure there's no sweat on the floor. As Charleston will inbound it to our left on the baseline. Grant Riller will do the honors. He'll lob it up for Jalen Richard. Swing it over to Jasper, over to Riller in front of the Hofstra bench. He'll drive the right baseline, shot up. It's good as he kisses it off the glass. So Riller with the layup. It's it 33-27, Hofstra with 4.05 left to play. It's Bowie between the circles. Dribbles left. Now gets into the paint. Shot up with the right hand. It's no good. The rebound grab by Riller. Tough shot by Bowie. Riller looking to run. He's in the front court along the right sideline. Riller behind the back dribble. Gets the screen from Harris. Still has it. He'll throw it over to Jalen Richard. He'll fire three-pointer. It's no good. Left it woefully short. And that's the tough shot, Danny, for the freshman. Not the shot that probably Earl Grant wants in that situation. Pemberton, jumper from the free throw line, good. And that's what happens. You take the bad shot on this end, you come back and give up the two. And just like that, Hofstra back on top by eight, 35-27 with 3.25 left to play. Jasper directing traffic. Swing it over to Riller. Riller, dump it down to Harris. Harris will face up against Dwyer. Harris spins on, under the basket. Step through, shot up, and it hits the back iron, falls off. But Harris will be at the free throw line to shoot two when we come back from our final. We presently lead the CAA with a record of 11 and 1. This is a solid team that Joe Mihalik has put together. What they lack in size is they have in heart. <laughs> that they can score and they can defend. This matchup zone is giving Charleston a little bit of problems. Up to this point is Nick Harris makes the first free throw. Harris missed the last contest, had a death in the family, did not play against Drexel. So it's good to have the big guy back as he calmly sinks both and cuts that lead down to six. 35-29 is the score. Hofstra leads, pride with the basketball with 2.58 left to play as right Foreman has it. Pull up jumper, and it's good. Just so silky smooth is Justin Wright Foreman. Wright Foreman now with eight points and puts Hofstra back on top by eight. 37 29 is the score. 240 left to play as Jasper walks into the front court. We'll swing it over to Riller. Riller looking over that zone. Back over to Jasper. Jasper back to Riller. Gets the screen from Harris. Pull up three point if the left wing is good. So a solid screen from Nick Harris and the pull-up jumper by Grant Riller. He's now has a 14 points. He's got a game high 14. And Charleston now by five, 37-32 with 2.14 left to play. As Bowie has it, working against Riller. Charleston in the man-to-man. -man. Bowie, skip pass over to Coburn. Three-pointer from the corner, good. 
He's hit from that spot three times tonight. He's now four. Back to action again. Charleston trails 40 to 32. 150 left to play in the first half. Cougars with the basketball is Brantley. Over to Jasper. Jasper over to Richard. They'll get it back to Brantley in the middle of that zone. Eight seconds to shoot. Brantley, jumper from the free throw line, good. And that's a shot he's going to have all night long. And he's got to make Hoster respect him. And he buries that to cut the lead again, down to six, 40 to 34. Let's see if Charleston can go on a run over the last 125. Bowie hands off to Coburn. Coburn above. He'll fire, step back, three-pointer is no good. This one's too strong from the top of the key. Rashard grabs the rebound. He'll bring it into the front court himself. Rashard pull-up jumper from the elbow, no good. Ball goes out of bounds, and Charleston will catch a break. Rashard just seems like he's forcing it, Danny. He's got to just relax and let the game come to him. Yeah, he's a freshman. He's a little excited right now being on the court, just wanting to make a play. The way he can do it is play good defense and rebound like he's doing on the other end. Brantley takes the inbound pass. Step back. Brantley drives, lost the ball, went out of bounds, and they're going to call a foul on the floor against Wright Foreman. And once again, Charleston got lucky, Danny, because he was definitely out of control. But that's the eighth team foul against Hoster, so it'll be the one and one. And actually, they change it, and they say the foul was not against Wright Foreman. It was actually against Stafford Trueheart, the 6'8 junior from Lancaster, New York. So Brantley at the free throw line, shooting one plus the bonus. First free throw is good. Marquise Porter is going to check into the lineup. Going to replace Grant Riller. Obviously, Grant with the two fouls, a smart substitution here, as Marquise will finish out the last 104 of this half. Brantley's second attempt, rims off, no good. Rebound grabbed by Coburn. So it'll be a five-point deficit for Charleston, 40 to 35. Pride with the lead and the basketball. Clock under a minute. Actually, 52 seconds to be exact. Trueheart takes a couple of dribbles and hands it off to Wright Foreman. Wright Foreman, step back. Three-pointer from the right wing is good. Good contest by Jarrell Brantley, but just a better shot by Wright Foreman. Now he's in double figures. He's got 11 points, and Hoster back on top by 8. 43-35 with 37.7 seconds left. So Earl Grant will take his 30. Team Brantley has 12. Corner will inbound it. Over to Jasper. About an 11 second differential between shot clock and game clock. Shot clock at 18 seconds. Brantley, middle of that zone, above the free throw line. Jabs. Still has it spinning, turning, shot out, shot blocked out of bounds. All right, True Heart. Brantley tried to get around him, couldn't do it, so it'll be Cougar basketball with 10 seconds left on the shot clock. Riller will inbound the basketball. He's checked back in. He'll lob it up to Pointer. Pointer kicks over to Jasper, seven seconds. He'll pull up, jumper, three-pointer, air ball. Ball hits on the baseline, and it will go to Hostra. So a good look by Jasper. Just could not connect. That will give it back to Hoster, and the Pride can actually hold for the final shot if they want to. Shot clock off, 15.3 seconds left on the scoreboard. And they'll hold for their shot. Charleston has to get a stop right here. You want to take something positive into the locker room at halftime. Bowie in the front court, seven, six, five. Bowie still has it working. Pull up three-pointer shot blocked by Pointer. Brantley grabs the rebound, and he can't get a shot off. A few, but lower that percentage wise. If they take tough ones as they get tired, they're going to start to miss someone coming down the stretch. So, back to action there at TD Arena. Charleston will start off with the basketball. Galloway over to Riller. He'll fire a three pointer from the left corner, and it's good. Right in front of the Charleston bench, and that's the star that Earl Grant wanted to see. 43 38. Hostra on top. Just underway in the second half as right Foreman jogs into the front court. Over to Bowie, along the left sideline. they will dribble to the top of the key. He'll throw it back. Coburn, three-pointer from the left corner, and he's fouled by Brantley. A good call by Bill Covington as he was out of control on the contest. And Coburn now will get three shots because of the foul on Brantley. Yeah, that's what you don't want to do. That's the cardinal rule in basketball. You don't want to foul the three-point shooter 
JB just got a little out of control and, and clipped a good three-point shooter. I'm sure he was aware he made some, but you got to contest without fouling. So Coburn, who did not attempt a free throw in the first half, now will make a trip to the charity strike. First free throws up and in. Coburn had a big first half. He had 12 points in the first half on four of seven shooting from behind the three-point line. Second free throw rattles out, no good. Tariq from Rosedale, New York, only was averaging eight points and four rebounds a game. And it only hit 35 threes on the season as he makes the second, so he makes two out of three. Put Hoster on top by seven, 45-38, 19-29 left to play as Marquise Pointer has it in the front court. Over to Galloway, over to Pointer. Swing it to Riller. Riller gets it to Brantley in the middle. Spinning, turning, shot up off the glass, and it's good. And that's a shot, Danny. He has perfected. We've seen that shot at least 100 times, and usually 90 out of 100, Drell's going to make it. 45-40, Hostrom. Right Foreman answers with a three-pointer from the right wing. No, they're going to say two. He had a foot on the line. So it's 47-40. Hostrom on top by seven with 18.50 left to play. Riller. Drives right in the middle of that zone. Shot up off the glass. It's good, and he's fouled. Now both teams really starting to heat up offensively. Riller with an opportunity for a three-point play. Riller now with 19 points. And that's what you like about what they're doing right now. If you notice, they're going to the rim, attacking the basket. That's what Charleston's going to find of success, not hanging around the three-point line. Riller makes the free throws. Now 47-43. Hofstra still with the lead. 18-40 left to play. Pride with the basketball on the front court. Pemberton at the elbow. He'll throw it over to Colburn. Three-pointer from the corner. It's no good. Rebound grabbed by Pointer. Pointer will bring it to the front court himself. An opportunity to cut into that lead. Pointer drives to the basket, lost the ball, just threw it away. Looks like his knee gave up with a turnover. And here comes the pride as Taylor under the basket, and he will slam it home with one hand. Tough break for Charleston. Every time it seems like the Cougars have a chance to make something big happen, a turnover happens. In that situation, there was nothing there. Probably should have just dribbled it out and set up the offense. Riller with the drive to the basket. The layup is good. You can't make the hero play, just make the simple play. And Charleston trails by four, 49-45 with 17.52 left to play. Bowie dribbles into the paint. Over to Taylor and a good call as the foul on Marquis Pointer as he kind of shoved Taylor on the baseline. And you know, you think about Marquis, Danny, nine times out of 10, Marquis is gonna make the right play Take a look at the replay here on the stream, and yeah, Taylor with the emphatic finish with the left hand. But the one thing is you, you can never fault Marquise because you know he's always giving it his all right. and playing his best. Right. So back to action is Bowie working against Zep Jasper, who checks in four-pointer. Over to Coburn, he just stepped out of bounds, yeah. Nick Harris slid over, Coburn just stepped out of bounds. So the turnover will give it back to Charleston. Trailing by four, 49-45, with 17.40 left to play. Coburn's going to have a seat. And Jalen Ray, the 6'1 sophomore of Hampton, will check in. Pretty cleanly played game thus far. Charleston with six turnovers, Hoster with five. So Riller along the left sideline in front of Earl Grant in the front court. Gets the screen from Harris and from Brantley. Pull up, three-pointer dead on. Good! And here comes the crowd at TD Arena. Right Foreman, three-pointer, good. No fear in that guy's veins at all as right Foreman buries the three. To put Hostra back on top, 52-48. Riller splits the double team again, drops to the basket, layup is good. And now Riller starting to get going. He's got 25, Danny. And now this is what we like to see, back and forth, back and forth. Hoster on top. The score is all. I'm not sure what the score is, Danny, on the scoreboard. Right Foreman, three-pointer top of the key. No good, but he's fouled by Zep Jasper on a three-point attempt. And right Foreman will now go to the free throw line to shoot three. 
Jasper thought it was good defense. But I'll say this, Danny. Very rarely is Justin Wright Foreman going to shoot an air ball. So that right. tells me he probably got hit. Right. But what we've seen here the last five, six possessions is Justin Wright Foreman and Grant Riller putting their stamp on the game. Two of the most dynamic scorers in basketball putting their stamp on the game. So Wright Foreman at the free throw line. First free throw is good. Wright Foreman now with 16 points. That put Hoster back on top, 53-50, or I should say extends their lead back to three. Right Foreman, second attempt, good. It's just something, Danny, about left-handers. Their stroke just seems to be just like smooth and effortless. Yeah, those guys, it, it, it does have a little, nice little touch to it. He makes all three. Right Foreman, third in the conference in shooting free throws. He's shooting 87%. You know who's shooting number one? DeJure Bowie from Hofstra. He's shooting 90% from the free throw line. 55-50. Hofstra with the lead. 16-32 left to play. Riller underneath to Brantley, and he'll lay it in. Oh, goaltending, but he'll still be credited with the two points as Taylor tried to pin it against it last. Actually, he did, but got the ball coming down until... The goaltending will give Charleston their 52nd point. It's 55-52. Hofstra with the lead. 16-20 left to play. Right Foreman right in front of his bench. Lost the ball, went out of bounds. They're going to say it went off of Nick Harris. So it will stay Hofstra's basketball. 17 seconds left on the shot clock. Right Foreman, nope, he's not going to inbound it. It's going to be Bowie instead. On the baseline, right Foreman catches it. Three-pointer from the right corner, and it's good. Man, what a shot. Justin Wright Foreman buries the three from the right corner. He's now heating up. He's got 22. And Hoster on top, 58-52 with 16 minutes left to play. Grant Riller driving to the zone, the zone, layup, good again. Grant Riller's got 27 now. They're going back and forth, back and forth. The top two scores in the CAA going shot for shot. Hofstra 58, Charleston 54, 15 42 left to play. Right Foreman, double team. He'll throw it in the corner to Bowie. Bowie gets the screen from Taylor. He'll roll, skip it over to Pemberton. And a foul on Brantley again. Just out of control on the closeout. And Brantley now, that's his second. Now, let's see if they'll call it a shooting foul. So back to action. There was no shooting foul. So Hofstra with the basketball. Pemberton, he'll fire a three-pointer, and it rattles in, and it's good. Every time Charleston seems to get close, Hofstra hits a three. And the pride now, 10 of 18 from behind the three-point line, and they lead. 60 to 54 with 15 15 left to play. Riller, he'll fire a three pointer. Can he answer? No. Goes off the back iron and right foreman grabs the rebound. Over to Pemberton. Pemberton now in the front court. He'll drive to the basket. Shot up with the right hand off the glass. It's no good. Looked like it was going to fall, but came off at the last second. And so now he'll go to the free throw line to shoot two. But more importantly, that foul goes against Jarrell Brantley, and that's his third. So Pemberton, who's got 16 points on the night, he's three for four from the free throw line, will step to the charity strike. First free throw is good by Pemberton. Hofstra, they've hit their last four shots from the field. Charleston is able to cut it to two. Give credit to Hofstra. They have answered the call as Brantley will take a seat with his three fouls. Jalen McManus will check into the lineup for the Cougars. This is a dangerous time for Charleston, trailing by eight, 62-54 with 15-02 left to play. Jasper over to Riller. Riller back to Jasper between the circles, middle of the floor. He'll dribble right towards the sideline. Hofstra still in that matchup zone. Jasper, jumper, top of the key, rims off, no good. Pemberton grabs the rebound. Over to right Foreman along the right sideline. Right Foreman 
working against Galloway. Pull up three pointer, rims out, no good, but Taylor gets the offense rebound. Out to Pemberton, fakes the three, no, he will shoot the three, no good, too strong, and Galloway grabs the rebound. Over to Zep Jasper, 14 13 left to play. Riller dribbles between the whole defense. Shot up with the left hand, it's good, and he is fouled. Oh my goodness. He literally, Danny, dribbled through the entire Hofstra team, kissed it off the glass, knocked to the ground, with an opportunity for a three-point play, and it just so happened, Danny, it happened in front of one, two, three, four, five, five NBA scouts with right in front of him. You forgot the left hand. With the left with hand. With the left hand. <laughs> so Riller's free throw attempt is good. So the three-point play makes it 62-57. Grant Riller now with 32 points on the night. If you're wondering, Riller's career high is 37. That came against William and Mary last year. Dwyer checks into the game, top of the key. Over to Ray, Ray dribbles into the paint. He'll force a shot up with the right hand and it's good. Hofstra shooting 53% from the game. 20 of 37, and they lead by seven, 64-57. With 13.55 left to play. Riller over to Galloway, over to Jasper. Fakes the three, drives left baseline, shot up off the glass. It's no good, left is short. Rebound by Sam Miller. Knocked out of his hands, but right into the Zep Jasper's hands. Galloway has it the deep corner. He'll get it to McManus in the paint. He'll drive right around him, shot up with the right hand, and left it short. No good. Rebound grabbed by Dwyer. Over to Pemberton. Pemberton drives to the rim, shot up with the left hand, layup good. 66-57, Hostra on top. 13-20 left to play. Riller in the front court. Gets the screen from Miller and McManus. Riller still has it. Picks up his dribble. He'll throw it out to McManus. Back to Riller. Riller working against that zone. Spinning, turning, dribble. Shot up with the right hand. Left and short. No good. Dwyer grabs the rebound. And off to Pemberton. Pemberton speeds into the front court. Skip pass over to right foreman. Wide open three. Count it. They're making shots. Charleston's not. Hofstra on a 7-0 run over the last one minute, and Earl Grant's going to take a timeout. 69-57. Hofstra in control. 12.53 left to play. Now they got to manufacture some offense some kind of way. So Cougar basketball. Pointer has it in front of Earl Grant over to Riller. Riller, Brantley back in the game, had the ball stolen from him. Bowie on a runaway, and he will lay it in. Brantley did not see Bowie behind him. And Hofstra is pulling away 71-57. The Pride on top with 12.30 left to play. Pointer. Over to Riller. Riller back to Pointer. Pointer drives into the paint. Kick over to Riller. Riller has it. 15 seconds left. Riller drives into the paint. He'll kick it over to Pointer. Wide open three off the front iron. No good. Rebound grab by Bowie. Bowie along the right sideline over to right foreman. Sizing up Riller. Fires the three. Good. Wow. Right Foreman now with 27 points. 74-57, Hostra on top. The Pride on a 12-0 run. Pointer over to Riller. Riller, three-pointer for the left wing. Rims out, no good. Rebound grab by Dwyer. Right now, Hostra just allowing Charleston to just take one shot. Pemberton has it in the front court. Hostra looking to step on the throats of Charleston. Trying to send a statement here at TD Arena. Right foreman, he'll fire another three-pointer, and it's good. Looking right at the NBA scout saying, yep, that's what I can do. He's got 30 now. Hofstra's up by 20, 77-57 with 11.20 left to play. Brantley outside the paint. He'll dump it down to Miller. Miller shot up, but he's fouled. Let's see if they'll call it on the floor. Oh, they're calling on the shot. The foul, I believe, will go against Dwyer. And we'll have a media timeout. And in his face, it just shows you uh, just what kind of dynamic scorer he is, the same way Grant's doing it to them on the other end. And those guys, once they get going, and they see that ball go through the hoop a couple times, like you said before, it looks like a, it's like an ocean to them. <laughs> Riller's got 32. Wright Foreman's got 30. Pointer has the basketball. Charleston trails by 20, 77-57, and a steal by Bowie again. Bowie at the rim, reverse layup is no good, but the rebound by Pemberton shot up is no good, but he's fouled by Pointer, and another lazy pass 
by Charleston results in Bowie coming up with the steal and Hofstra will go to the free throw line to shoot two. Yeah, Charleston has to be tight with the ball, especially right now, no turnovers. You're down 20, but it's a game that you still can get back in. People don't know basketball, you're going to make runs. You could turn it. You just got to cut it down to certain marks. You get it down to 12, around the eight-minute mark, so on and so forth, but they got to get stopped from the defensive end. Free throw is good by Pemberton. Bowie leads the CAA in steals, averaging 2.44 a game. Actually, he's 14th in the country in that category. Bowie tonight with three steals. Second free throw is good by Pemberton. And Hofstra all in control, leading 79-57 with 10.55 left to play. Pointer over to Jasper. Jasper dribbles to the top of the key, back to Brantley on the right wing, back to Jasper, over to Galloway. Galloway back to Jasper. Jasper at the free throw line, now in the paint, bounce pass over to Riller. Riller drives to the basket, kicks over to Pointer. Pointer drives to the basket, shot up with the left hand, left air ball. Rebound grabbed by Pemberton. Ahead to Ray, ahead to Dwyer, and the layup is good. No transition defense. Dwyer runs straight to the rim, and Hofstra having their way. Right now leading 81-57. to 57. Pointer over to Riller along the right sideline. Out to Brenton, who stepped out. But the three-point line will drive to the basket, and a foul will go against Ray as he tried to stop Brantley's progress to the rim. Charleston has not scored a point in the last four minutes and 11 seconds. And during that time, Hofstra has gone on a 19 to nothing run. Mm. Brantley in the paint, underneath to Pointer, and the reverse layup is good. And that'll stop the 19-0 run for Hofstra. Makes it 81-59. Hofstra leads. Pride with the basketball. Still plenty of time left. 9.55 left to play. We just saw look, two nights ago, uh, Duke against Louisville. Right, you still can get in this game, you just have to play it correctly. And the foul will go against Zep Jasper as he tried to get in front of Dwyer. Looked like Jasper got hit in the mouth. But the foul still called against Jasper. That'll be the seventh team foul called against Charleston, so it'll be a one and one coming up. Dwyer with four points and four rebounds on the night for the pride as Jalen Richard's going to check into the lineup. He'll replace Jasper. Dwyer out of River Forest, Illinois, a 6'8 senior. First and front end of the one and one is good. Second free throw awaits Dwyer. And this one is no good. Brantley grabs the rebound. So if you're wondering, the most points Charleston has given up this year is 86. And that came against Hofstra there in Long Island. Right now, Hofstra's got 82. Galloway fires a three, and it's good. So it's 82-62. Hofstra on top at 9.30 left to play. Bowie works against Pointer. Has it in the front court. Bowie middle of the floor. Just the screen from Dwyer, he'll come left. Bowie still has it, hesitation dribble, drives against Brantley. Underneath to Dwyer, good look, but Dwyer didn't see the pass coming and threw it out of bounds. So the turnover will give it back to Charleston. That'll be the seventh turnover of the night for Hofstra. 82-62, Hofstra on top, 9.05 left to play, Riller. Dribbles to the top of the key. He'll swing it over to Richard right in front of the Charleston bench. They get it to Brantley at the elbow. He'll slide over at the free throw line. Brantley tried to dribble behind the back. Almost lost the ball. Got it back. Has it in the paint. He'll throw it out to Galloway. Galloway drives. Step back three-pointer from the left wing is good. And all of a sudden now, Galloway has hit his last two. He's got six points on the night. And it's 82-65. Hofstra leads with 8.35 left to play. His right former now has it in his hands. Near the timeline, middle of the floor, guarded by Galloway. Right Foreman dribbles right, stop, pop, three-pointer, no good, too strong off the back iron, and Marquise Pointer grabs the rebound. Pointer will sprint to the front court, over to Riller. Riller drives into the paint, kicks over to Richard. Richard in the paint, shot up the left hand, it's no good, but he's fouled by Dwyer. And Jalen Richard, the freshman, will now go to the free throw line to shoot two. 
As Charleston on a little run of their own. They've hit their last three field goal attempts, and they're on a 6-0 run over the last 115. And that's what you knew. There's so much time in the game. You knew Charleston was going to make a little bit of a run. Hofstra was going to miss a few shots. That's what they're experiencing. Now Charleston has to just capitalize on each possession. Richard has not scored tonight. First free throw for the freshman is good. Richard averaging five points a game coming into tonight's contest. He's a 78% free throw shooter is Richard. 30, now 32 for 41 from the charity strike. Second free throw coming up, and this one's good. 82-67, Charleston now down by 15. Cougars on an 8-0 run over the last 120 as Pemberton works against Richard. Pemberton has in the front court. He'll drive straight to the basket pass underneath to Taylor. He'll slam it home with two hands. And a timeout called by Joe Mihalik, the head coach of Hofstra. Updated on other scores around the CAA. 435 left to play, and Delaware on top of Towson, 53 to 50. Also 140 left to play, and James Madison and Drexel. James Madison on top, 66 to 59. Back to action. Cougars with the basketball. Galloway gets to Brantley. He's in the paint. Shot up with the right hand, and it's good. 84-69. Now Charleston just come up with a stop. Bowie has it in the front court. Top of the key. He'll hand it off to Ray. Ray draws straight to the rim. Reverse layup with the left hand is no good. And Brantley grabs the rebound. He'll bring it into the front court himself. Brantley on the right wing. Brantley out to Jasper. They'll swing it over to Riller. Riller drives to the basket. Step back jumper. Good. He's got 34. Charleston's got 71, and Hofstra's lead is now down to 13. Their largest lead was 24, and that came with 10.30 left to play. Ray in the middle of the floor. Dribbles left. Cut off. We'll throw it back now to Pemberton. Pemberton, guarded by Pointer. He'll dump it down to Taylor, working against Riller. Shot up with the left hand, and it's good. Somehow Charleston got caught in the switch, and they had Grant Riller guarding Taylor, and it looked like that time Charleston... Hopefully not running out of steam, Danny. That was pretty lethargic on the defensive end. Right. Riller back over to Pointer. Pointer up to Jasper. Jasper, top of the key, over to Riller. Right wing, ball above his head. Skip pass over to Jasper, over to Brantley. Brantley will throw it in the corner to Galloway. Back over to Riller. Ten seconds left on the shot clock. Riller, step back, three-pointer. Good! He's got 37. Just tied his career high. He's now Charleston down by 12 with 6.15 left to play. This game is not over, folks. Pemberton in front of the Charleston bench. Oh, excuse me, the Hofstra bench. Working. Drives right down the lane. Over to Taylor. He'll slam it home with two hands. Great drive and dish from Pemberton over to the wide open Taylor. The lead back up to 14. 88-74 with 5.50 left to play. Riller has it. Right wing. Brantley, middle of the floor, above the free throw line. Brantley spins, turns, and he slams it home with one hand over Taylor. Oh, my goodness. What a finish. That'll get the crowd off their feet. 88-76. Hoster on top by 12 with 525 left to play. Pemberton spinning, turning, shot up with the left hand. No good. Rebound grab by Taylor, and he'll lay it in. Knocks Marquise Pointer to the ground. No call. Fans thought it should have been a walk on Taylor. No whistle. And Hofstra now with 90 points as they lead 90 to 76 with 5.05 left to play. Riller on the left wing in front of the Charleston bench. Step back. Three pointer. No good. Too strong. Rebound grab by Pemberton. He'll say slow it down with 4.55 left to play. Pemberton guarded by Pointer along the left sideline. Dribbles to the top of the key. Picked up by Brantley. Drives straight down. Shot up off the glass. No good. Riller grabs the rebound. Riller on the run. He's in the front court. Burr, Euro step. Layup is good, and he's fouled. <laughs> 39 points for Grant Riller, a new career high. 
Well, you wondered if he was going to show up today. Here he is with the Euro step on the break, step through, and his body control like no other in college basketball. So Riller looking for his 40th point on the night, and he has it. Charleston now down 11, 90 to 79, with 442 left to play. Right Foreman had the ball knocked out of his hands. Goes out of bounds, but off of Charleston, so it'll stay Hostra's basketball. So Hostra will inbound it right in front of the bench. Crowd now starting to try to get into it. This is what all college basketball is about. To the top heavyweights in the CAA doing battle at TD Arena. Justin Wright Foreman with the basketball, drives to the basket, shut up, shot blocked out of bounds by Jarrell Brantley. It goes off of Wright Foreman, and it'll be Charleston's basketball. Timeout called by Earl. Grant Riller has 40 points on the night, a new career high. Justin Wright Foreman, not too bad himself, he's got 30. So Charleston basketball's Marquise Pointer speeds it to the front court over to Riller, top of the key. Riller over to Jasper. Jasper will swing it over to Galloway. Galloway looking over the zone. He'll drive over to Pointer. Pointer back to Galloway all around the world to Jasper. 15 seconds. Brantley in the middle. Brantley jab step. Doesn't shoot it. He'll draw straight to the basket. A walk. Offensive foul. Yeah. Good call. Jarrell Brantley just ran over Taylor. They knew what he was going to do. Stepped in, took the charge, and that'll be the fourth against Jarrell. And he's operating right at that free throw line area where you want. Earlier in the game, he was just raising up, making that little 10, 12-foot jump shot. He might have to do it again because they're slagging off him a little bit, trying to keep him from attacking. And the one thing you'd like to see Jarrell, Jarrell, we've seen him hit that, that shot from the free throw line right. time and time it's open. again. It's there. If it's open, you, you shoot gotta it with confidence. It. Yeah. yeah. So right now they're getting some of the sweat up off the floor. So it'll be Bowie to inbound it for Hofstra. Over to Ray. Ray guarded by Riller. He's bringing it to the front court. Charleston with 18 fouls. Hoster with six. Ray dribbles. Hands it off to Justin Wright Foreman. Being guarded by Galloway. Wright Foreman's got 30 on the night. He'll dribble left towards the sideline. Then it will fake. Good job by Marquise. And then a foul. Are you kidding me? Come on. They caught the foul on Marquise Pointer. I guess they're going to say he held Pemberton. I saw him denying him, but didn't see the jersey grab. The Jerry Heater said he did indeed. And so I mean, that's corner, the only that'll thing be his can, fifth. That's the only thing you can call in that situation. Has to be a jersey grab, because at this point in the game, everything's a little physical right now. And most refs let you play through it, so it had to be a pull of the jersey. So Porter just fouled out with that. He'll finish his night with four points and two rebounds. So Jalen Richard, the high-flying acrobatic freshman, will check in. 3.47 left on the clock. Pemberton steps up to the free throw line. Pemberton today, 7 for 8 from the charity strike. Make it 8 for 9 as he rattles in the first. Hofstra leads 91 to 79. 3.47 showing on the clock. Can Charleston make one final push? Cougars have hit eight out of their last nine shots from the floor as Pemberton misses the free throw. And Galloway grabs the rebound. He'll hand it off to Jasper, who will speed into the front court along the left sideline. He'll swing it over to Riller. Riller being guarded by Bowie. Riller over to Galloway. Catch and shoot three-pointer. No good, too strong. Long rebound tapped out to Riller. Riller exposed to the basket. Ball knocked out of bounds off of Right Foreman, he knocked out of bounds, and so it'll stay Charleston's basketball. I thought it'd be a media timeout with 328 left to play, but I guess not. So Jasper will lob it up to Brantley. Brantley in the deep left corner. Working against right Foreman to skip it over the top to Galloway. Galloway out to Riller. Riller, step back, three-pointer, no good off the rim, but Rashard grabs the rebound, shot up, misses the layup. Rebound grabbed by Taylor. And two good looks for Charleston, but the freshman just could not connect. And Hofstra takes over with three minutes left to play. Right Foreman being guarded by Jasper near the timeline, slapping Jasper's hand off of him. 
15 seconds on the shot clock. Still middle of the floor near the timeline. Right Foreman just dribbling back and forth. Gets the screen from Taylor. Drives to the basket. He'll throw it over to Pemberton. Pemberton should be a charge. Yep, good call. As he ran over Grant Riller with 2.45 left to play. Pemberton, that'll be just his second. So they'll give it back to Charleston. But however, the Cougars trailing by 12 with 2.45 left to play. So Jasper over to Riller. Riller back to Jasper. In the front court, Jasper has it. Really no time to waste. They're down by 12. He'll hand it off to Riller. Riller in the middle of the floor between the circles. Riller over to Jasper. He'll step in. He'll fire a three, and it's good. It's as if Jasper knocked down the three. It's now 91-82 with 2.25 left to play. Riller picking up full court pressure against Ray. Ray brings it to the front court. Charleston's got to get a stop here. Ray, middle of the floor. Over to Bowie. Bowie behind the back dribble. Being hounded by Jasper. We'll hand it off to Pemberton. Pemberton drives, kicks over to Bowie. He'll fire a three-pointer. No good. Ball tapped and right into the hands of Galloway. Galloway, middle of the floor. Now in the front court. Galloway over to Riller. 155 left to play. Riller drives right behind the back dribble. Throw it out to Brantley. Brantley fakes the three. And we'll have a foul, a touch foul will go against Bowie, and that'll be the eighth foul. So that'll send Brantley to the free throw line to shoot one plus the bonus, Danny. And that's a great play for Charleston. Anytime they can cut at this lead with the clock stopped, that's always going to be a plus. Uh, you get it right now, you can get it down to 91-84. Charleston will still be in a good position. Hofstra, no field goals over the last 3.28. So one and one coming up for Charleston. Brantley makes the first. Now has 21 points on the night. Second free throw, good. 91-84, 150 left to play, and listen to this crowd. Pemberton will bring him into the front court. Picked up by Richard. Trying to get it to right form, and Galloway doing a great job of denying the ball to right form. And they'll throw it over to Ray. Ray picked up by Riller. Galloway refuses to let right form and touch the ball. Ray drives straight to the basket, shot up, and it's no good. Rebound grabbed by Zeb Jasper. Cougars on the run. Ahead to Brantley. He's in the front court. Brantley takes his time underneath to Richard. Richard not there. He'll throw over to Jasper. Jasper drops into the paint. Shot up with the right hand, and it's no good. Gets his own offensive rebound. There's a tie up, and possession yard will favor Hostra. Jalen Richard kind of had a layup, didn't take it, he was out of control. Wisely didn't feel comfortable, so he dribbled out, and Charleston not able to get off a shot. And Earl will pick up full court. Again, Cougars trail 91-84, 114 left to play. Bowie will inbound the basketball, he'll throw it into Pemberton. Pemberton has it in the backcourt, being guarded by Richard. Here comes the jump, he'll get it over to Bowie. Bowie takes his time, he'll bring it to the front court and hand it off to Justin Wright Foreman. Middle of the floor being hounded by Galloway. Clock now showing one minute. Right Foreman. Just going to dribble the clock out. Ten seconds left on the shot clock. Galloway. Working against Right Foreman. He'll dribble left. Right Foreman. Step back three. No good. Rebound grab by Taylor. And another offensive rebound. And Charles is going to have to foul. And Jasper will foul with 38.9 seconds left. Charleston got the stop, couldn't get the rebound, and I think that's probably going to do it, Danny. Yeah, that was the play right there. It, 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 now it's just too much to overcome at this point. You got to get the, you got to play defense. The second part of it, you got to secure the rebound and go on the other end. They didn't do that. Clock restarts, puts you in a bad position. So Bowie at the free throw line. Free throw is good. He's got 90. Two now is Hofstra on top 92 84 39 seconds left second free throw good 93 84 Hofstra up by nine with 38 seconds left Riller has in the front court he's in the paint shot up off the glass it's good and he's fouled so Riller continues to play as he's got 42 on the night looking for 43 I guess you know what, Dan, we shouldn't say. <laughs> We've all seen a lot of college basketball. 
anything can happen. Yeah, so this game is not can, over. Yeah, anything can happen. Charleston trailing by seven. If he makes this one, it's a two-possession game. Charleston has one timeout left, they as need, does Hofstra. They need to find out who they're going to put on the line. Hofstra's a good free-throw shooting team as Riller it's makes the free one. throw. You got to find your one. It's that part of the game. You, you locate him. You look in his eyes and say he don't want it. 35.6 seconds left. Hofstra 93, Charleston 87. Bowie gets it to Pemberton. Pemberton back to Bowie. Bowie fouled by Jasper with 32.6 seconds left. Again, DeSure Bowie leads the CAA in free throw Yeah, I don't think shooting. it wants to be him. I was about to say. But you got no choice. Yeah, 90%. He was 61 for 68 coming into tonight's game. And Bowie now two for two from the charity stripe. So, again, you really can't be picky in this situation. So, Bowie, maybe he'll help us out. And I think I would have got Pemberton as soon as he got it in. Free throw from Bowie is good. Bowie now with eight points. Second free throw coming up for Bowie. And this one's good. 95-87, Hostra on top. 30 seconds left. Galloway's three-pointer from the right corner is good. So they're getting two. We're scoring three. So it's 95-90. Bowie's going to inbound the basketball. Got to keep everything in front of you here, Danny. Can't allow anybody to go long. I believe Bowie can run the baseline, if I'm not mistaken. Being guarded by Brantley guarding the baseline. And we'll have a foul away. A foul, a good foul by Jill McManus. The foul is going to be on Jaquiel Taylor, I believe. Or, excuse me, Jill McManus committed the foul on Jaquiel Taylor. But Jill McManus is saying he got pushed. So let's see here as the officials, Bill Covington and Jamie Lucky discussing. If they call it just a free throw, does that work out? Double bonus. Right. See, that's what I thought they were going to call. Foul off the ball means two shots and the ball. So Taylor will be at the free throw line shooting two. He's by far the weakest free throw shooter of the bunch. Left-hander's free throw is good. Taylor was shooting 68% coming into the game. Second free throw, good. <laughs> Just been that night for Hofstra. Everything they've thrown towards the rim has seemed to have gone in. So the ball will go back to Hofstra with a seven-point lead, 97-90, with 28.6 seconds left. Bowie runs the baseline, bounce pass to Pemberton. Pemberton gets over to right Foreman. He'll bring it to the front court, and he's fouled by Riller, but no call. So right Foreman's just going to dribble it out of here, since he's going to foul with 19.3 seconds left. And Pemberton will go to the free throw line, where today he is 8 for 10 from the charity strike. And I think the story of the game, Danny, will be that 15 to nothing run midway through the second half that did Charleston in. Free throw is good by Pemberton. Pemberton awaits the second. And he makes both. So it's 99 to 90. Hoster on top. Riller letting the ball roll near the timeline. He'll pick it up. Riller lays it off for Brantley. Brantley, three-pointer top of the key. Good. 96, 99, 93, 13.7 seconds left. Riller trying to find the first guy that breaks to the basket. Bowie gets it into Ray. They got a foul. And there's not fouling for some reason. They're going to let it get to Pemberton. Charleston just playing defense with seven seconds left. The ball tipped. Stolen the backcourt by Galloway. Three, two. He'll drive to the basket. The layup is good, but Charleston... Falls tonight, 90.